Welcome back, everyone. Time now is 1251, and we've got our screens going here again. Taking a look at temperatures around the entire valley right now. 85 degrees here in Wessico, 88 in Harlingen, 87 down in Brownsville, 86 in McAllen. Winds out of the north at about 9 miles an hour. Our dew points and humidity down just a smidge compared to uh, yesterday. Thanks to the front, now our winds are out of the north, but it wasn't a good front. It was kind of a fake front, really small, didn't come in with much fanfare. So we have just a slight shift in our winds, 7 miles an hour in Wessico, 12 Harlingen, 14 in Brownsville. Not that big shift of drying air that we all normally associate with the front, but we're probably looking forward to about this time of year. Today you can expect highs in the 80s for the most part. There's a lot of sunshine out there, but there are still some clouds out there and a lot of moisture that we can grasp up with the heating of the day, so we cannot rule out the chance for some showers. Even a thunderstorm or a downpour still possible today. Temperatures around the rest of the state, not a big difference for these folks either, although you can tell right here some cooling 70s and even 60s. Most of that, though, due to the rain that's in the area and the cloud cover associated with the rain. That's where those cooler temperatures are at right now as well. Here's that front, now just stationary, it sort of oozed through the valley, and now it's just sitting to the south of us. So, as I said, that creates a little bit of instability. We're just now starting to see a few little spots of showers show up on the radar. It's been very quiet most of the day. Big change from the last several days. So, across the valley right now, not a lot going on. Can't rule out the chance, though, for a shower or a thunderstorm, especially today, about 40% or so, and then less chance tomorrow, and then even drier perhaps on Sunday. We are keeping an eye out on a few spots in the tropics right now. 20% chance of development for a little disturbance out there headed towards Puerto Rico. They do not need more rain. And then 40% chance of development of a little system here headed towards the panhandle of Florida. Now, when we say a chance of development, that does not mean that a hurricane is on the way or anything like that, but it does mean the Hurricane Center is keeping an eye on it, and it has a chance to maybe get more organized, possibly, into maybe a tropical storm or depression. So here's what it's looking like across the state right now. We've got our little stationary front to the south of us. We've got moisture around. Future track is saying that that front stays to the south of us and that we start to see more clouds and less rain through tomorrow and then again into Sunday. So future track showing nothing but clouds for Sunday. So clouds and sunshine with just a 10% chance for Sunday. However, then we have another disturbance creeping back in off the Gulf, coming in from the Gulf and possibly giving us a chance at showers again heading in to next week. So starting on Monday. So we're going to track that for you. If you're out at the coast today, we showed you Sky 5, gorgeous picture out at the island, but seas are at 2 to 5 feet. There's your high and low tide information for this afternoon. Elevated rip current risk, so just be careful. Moderate chop out there on the bay and the UV index is very high. So take your sunscreen. Uh, tonight, overnight lows, 73 or so. Still a chance of a stray shower or two if you're heading out, especially to those football games. So this weekend, basically a drying tend. Uh, trend, especially into Sunday, and then that disturbance comes in around the beginning of the week, and as we head into the middle of next week, the chance for rain increases again. There's a look at your complete first Warren 5 forecast. We'll be right back.